Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and in today's video, if you haven't noticed by the title down below, this is a story time and it is basically me explaining of why I haven't filmed for over a year. So if you haven't seen my recent video, click in this little area over here, over here, I'm not sure. Um, on my recent video of my everyday makeup routine, it's just simple eyeliner, foundation, eyebrows, all that good stuff. So, without further ado, let's start right, let's get right into the video. So, I had this idea around, I've been having this idea for a very long time, since sophomore year of high school, to start a YouTube channel. And I never had the, the, the equipment, the equipment, yeah, I was about to do quotations, the equipment to do so. But um, once I graduated high school and went to community college, I decided to start one, but after my two years at CC. Um, so sometime around September, I uploaded my very first video, which is basically like a little simple introduction of what I'm going to do and plan on doing still. But um, and I thought to myself, okay, once I uploaded this video, I will do multiple videos and all that good stuff of my life at UC Irvine. So let me continue, before I continue on, let me explain what happened before that. Um, I recently gra I graduated two, month, two or three months prior to that at Barstow Community College, um, which is my CC of where I grew up. Um, it took me two years to graduate, to com or two years to complete. got my AAT in psychology, which is Associate of Arts for Transfer. Um, and every, I think it was easy for me because honestly it was, it wasn't broken down in half like 10 weeks or so, which I will explain later on, but everything went smoothly. I did pretty well my first two years. So once I got into UC Irvine, I was beyond blessed, but I had a little trouble with my application, um, UC app, um, applications, but we'll divulge into that another day. So once I graduated at BCC, I transferred over to UC Irvine. Um, I was really excited, so net ready, so not ready. So actually, I was actually ready, super hyped, super ready to get my bachelor's of arts. Um, so once I got here, I started my fall quarter. Um, so the reason why I say quarter, and unlike BCC where it's semester, is because um, there are two different systems, so UC Irvine is, of course, under the University of California, and Barstow Community College is under the California Community Colleges. Two different, um, collegiate, I don't remember, two different systems, collegiate systems, there you go, that's how I call it. So, my school, UC Irvine, is on, runs, goes on the quarter system. BCC runs under the semester system, which is very different. And I thought to myself, okay, I can do the quarter system because I took online classes at BCC. They're nine weeks. It's one week less than the quarter system. It's all good. I was wrong. I was overwhelmed by the how fast everything is and I know I am it sounds like I'm making excuses for myself but honestly I am admitting to my mistakes of being overconfident being super cocky about everything um because I thought I was smart but then when I got my first grades I was like oh I did that I did I was stressing out over everything and um once fall quarter ended I got my GPAs my GPA I don't want to talk about it it hurts my heart so much about talking about this because it's very traumatic I'm usually the type of person who's so pumped up pumped about getting their grades like getting all A's or something getting all A's getting B's C's and all that good stuff like I want to do good I want to do myself proud and then I saw it and I fucked up so bad it was the tr most traumatic experience I've ever gotten. And I told myself, okay, I I probably will drop out. UC is not the right, this UC, the UC system is not right for me. But um, luckily I didn't. With, with um, After doing some self-reflection, I decided not to give up, keep treading through, because I believe that it's always look about, always 
think about the future never think about the now this is just a minor misstep everything is take everything one step at a time it's all gonna be worth it in the future so spring semester comes rolling in um i did okay you know took three three classes of course did good bumped my gpa just a little bit and then took three quarters again for spring bumped up and i'm doing good so um i basically summarized of what my academic year was so i said that the uc the uc system follows does the quarter system i think some i don't know about cal states and um um, Cal Poly's, I think some of the um, semester systems, I'm not sure, but, um, so after I uploaded my video, I was like, okay, I'm gonna, as I mentioned, I was gonna, like, I told y'all that I'm going to upload every, upload some videos, but once I hit week, so we start school, once I uploaded vi videos, I was like, It was whole stressful about doing this because I'm not used to doing this kind of thing. So I live, last year I lived off campus and I still do. So um, I live, last year I lived 11 minutes away with the traffic going to school. Because um, UC Irvine is a commuter school, so that's what I want to point out there. But um, it was a lot of work to get there. So once that happened, I was like, okay. I will not film for you, I just want to adjust myself into the quarter system. I'm still adjusting, it's not the time yet. And um, it's a good thing I did because I got used to the quarter system, what to expect, what not to expect, and uh, I'm doing good now. But after the mishap I had in full quarter and doing I'm steadily improving through winter and spring, I somewhat saw a silver lining. I don't know if that's the right terminology. I am so sorry for that. The one thing I am most proud of is that I joined Kababayan at UCI, which is a Philippinex org, and it's honestly the best decision I ever made. I made friends there. I'm still friends with them. I'm friends with some of the uh, who were fourth years last year. Um, I'm friends with them to this very day. Um, I'm wearing the shirt right now. Um, we have this big event called Packin, which is the Philippinex American Culture Night. Some UCs, Cal States, and um, some CCs and uh, Sam, um, Cal Poly's do PCM, which is Philippinex Culture Night. And um, I was so hyped for this one. It was called Packin 40, and every year there's always a theme. I think the one that I joined was Packin 40, and um, and this is the poster. It's called Nagmama Hall with Love. And it's the most beautiful production I've seen. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll link that in the description box below. Um, I also am also now fourth year, if you haven't noticed. Um, I am an ate. So in Kababayan, we have this thing um, I keep saying, I should say Kaba, it's making it easier for myself. So in Kaba, we have these things called K-Fams, or Kasama families, and they're run by Ates and Kuyas with their second tiers, and it's only run by fourth years. So I'm an Ate for Chowder Fam, and the reason I say Chowder Fam is because there's themes every year. So last year's theme was um, cartoon, not cartoon, Disney characters, so I don't know if I can do a G right, I believe this is the right way. There you go. For me, and here's another way. Oh, there you go. So, um, and this year is a Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon shows. So I am, of course, Chowder Fam. Um, so I have some friends in there. I have made some, um, friends along, along, in my fam. Ooh. How do I explain this? I made some new friends in within my fam, and I'm honestly so beyond blessed. Um, so, also, I wanted the one thing I wanted as an athlete for my K fam is to be um, have some transfer students connect with them on a deeper level, and I honestly have. I thought I had, I thought we had one transfer, but honestly, we have two, and I was, I was like, I'm so proud. 
I'm not crying, but I'm like, I'm so happy. Like, I have transfer students and my fam who are down for anything to hang out, get some food, boba, whatever. Um, yes, it's amazing. I actually have a couple of first years. It's honestly amazing. And um, speaking of transfers, as um, so during my third year, I made some friends along the way. Majority of them are transfer students. And the tra some of them already graduated. They transferred, of course, in their third year of, of college. Um, and I'm still friends with those who are now in their fourth year and might go on to their fifth. So shout out to my friends Esther, um, Esther, Malisha, um, who else? Uh, Dion, my Odding, Mikey. All my other transfer friends, I'm so proud to meet you guys. Rachel, Joanna, every I'm just like, I'm so overwhelmed. That's why I can't think of names so sh think names out right now because I'm I'm happy. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm so like I'm so I'm gonna say this again. I'm so happy that I did not drop out of college. Um, I'm like, I'm so close. I'm so close to graduating. Getting my BA, ready to go out there, make a change in this fucked up world as it is. But yeah, I'm ready for packing 41. Um, I don't know what the theme is, but yeah, I'm ready for packing. I'm ready to more hangouts with my KFAM, with my friends, my roommate. Shout out to 619 Sanford Squad. Um, I, I honestly. It's the best thing that has ever, the best decision I've ever made. Um, I'm ready for this new chapter in my life. I wanted to get this off my chest, honestly. I wasn't going to originally film this here in my humble abode of home home. I usually say home home because I come here for the weekends, usually. But um, I was going to film this in this beautiful park where I currently stay with my friends in Irvine, but it's better now than never, or none at all. It's better to speak your truth than not speak it at all. Also, I want to show you guys something. So I am a Green Turtle Co. Ambassador. Before I sign off, I am a Green Turtle Co. Ambassador. So basically what Green Turtle Co. is, is that they ha they make these amaz amazing, beautiful straws, eco-friendly straws, so we can reduce plastic use in the world. And their motto, it's absolutely adorable, is saving turtles one sip at a time. This is it right here. This is their straws. Horrible hand modeling right here. And um, I'm an ambassador, um, so these, this is what the straws, some of the straws do look like. Um, here's a metal one with a pipe cleaner that can, comes with it. Um, here's a gold, so rose gold. Um, glass, I want a glass because I want to look cute. One sip in my drinks. And the black one which comes with our call back, my call application for this year. So if you want to say turtles like I do, please use my checkout Bernays Marie D E F, which is right here, to say 10% off at checkout. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Thank you for letting me talk to y'all here. Let me speak my truth, and I will see you on the next time. Bye.